Heads of arguments have been submitted, submitted in Diane Kola Barnard's appeal case. The DA MP will on Tuesday fight to keep her party's membership card and her job. The DA's federal executive resolved to terminate her membership after a controversial Facebook post. The jury is out. Which way will the DA's federal legal commission sway? Diane Kola Barnard's appeal will be heard by a five-member panel. Both Kola Barnard and the federal executive, which expelled her, will make submissions. But no witnesses will be called. I'm confident that the arguments can be finalized in, in this one day. Um, there are three parties to, to the appeal. E essentially, there's the federal executive, um, there's Ms. Kola Barnard, and, uh, and the Federal Legal Commission will also present arguments. This is the Facebook repost that landed Kola Barnard in hot water, especially the phrase, Please come back, P.W. Buerther. Political commentators argue the DA's image has taken a knock at a time when the DA is trying to appeal to more black voters. Author of Could I Vote DA, Eusebius McKaiser, believes whatever the outcome of the appeal ahead of the municipal elections will have a ripple effect. A debate about race is a debate that they will hope that you and I as voters won't have during the local government elections. So if they don't deal with the Diane Colabana appeal decisively and quickly, the danger for them is that the local government elections will suddenly become a referendum on questions like race instead of being about service delivery. And whatever the outcome of the appeal, as seen after Colabana's expulsion, opposition parties won't be convinced that the DA is dealing decisively with the debate on racism. The outcome of the appeal is expected as soon as Tuesday. What should be interesting in case of a successful appeal is whether Diane Kola Barnard will challenge Musi Maimani's decision to demote her from police shadow minister to deputy shadow minister of public works. Aldrin St. Pierre, SABC News, Santon.